Hello everyone. Today the topic which we are going to learn about is Rita's Nest from your English chapter 1. Rita's Nest. So let's learn the story about Rita's Nest. In the story we learn that Rita's bedroom was upstairs and a big tree grew outside her window and it seems that one branch of a tree almost touched Rita's window. So, one day she saw a sparrow making a nest in a tree. She saw that the sparrow used bits of twigs and mud to hold the nest and also pick some grass and put in the nest to make it soft. She watched the sparrow making its nest and soon it was done. The nest was very pretty. After some time, she saw the sparrow laying five eggs in the nest. And day after day, the sparrow sat on her egg to keep them warm. And after a few weeks of warming, Rita heard a strange noise. She was wondering from where the sound was coming. Soon she found out that the sound was coming from a tree outside her window. And to her excitement, she saw that the eggs have hatched. Five tiny sparrows were there. Their eyes were still closed. So happily she ran downstairs shouting, The eggs hatched. Come everyone, see my baby birds so you can feel how happy she was, right? Rita thought that the baby birds were hungry because they were making noise. Slowly, the baby birds got their feather and moved around the nest. When she saw the baby birds flapping their wings, she thought, that the birds were getting ready to fly. And what happened? She was right. After a few days, she saw that the nest was empty. Her birds were gone flying. She felt sad and sat by her window thinking that the birds had really gone. But the birds came back. She felt happy and told her brother what she had experienced. Then. After listening to her, her brother told her that she was right. She explained to her that the birds were not ready to fly. They were still learning how to fly. But soon they will really fly away and will not come back. Rita was sad and told her brother that she do not want the birds to go. Then... Her brother told her that even if she don't want it, they cannot stay here all the time. They have to go doing other things. Then after listening to her brother, she understood and told to herself that her brother was right. Well, she climbed herself down by saying, maybe another sparrow will again build a nest in her tree next year. Well, students, this is the story about Rita and her nest. We learn from this lesson about the nesting habit of birds. So, I hope you have understood the lesson. Now, for your question and answer, you write it down on your notebook, English notebook. Question number one. Who is the story about? Answer, the story is about a little girl named Rita. Question number two, what did Rita see one day? Answer, one day Rita saw a sparrow making a nest in the tree. Question number three, what did the sparrow sit on the egg? Why did the sparrow sit on the eggs? Answer, the sparrow sat on the eggs to keep them warm. 
Question number four. Why did Rita feel sad? Answer. Rita feels Rita felt sad because the sparrows were gone. Question number five. Why could the baby birds not stay at the nest all the time? Answer. The baby birds could not stay at the nest all the time because they have to do other things. So this is your question and answer. Copy down on your English notebook. Now for your sight words, these are the five words. You read the spelling properly and understand the meaning. Number one, nest. Nest means a home of a bird. A home of a bird. Number two, twigs. Means small leafless branches of a tree. Small or leafless branches of a tree. Number three, strange. Strange, here in this lesson, it means not usual. Question number, uh, number four, hatched. Hatch means when an egg breaks and allow a baby bird to come out from an egg. Number five, flapping. Flap, flapping means moving uh, the wings up and down. Now for your assignment, page number six, your second semester textbook, page number six, Unscrabble the letters to form suitable collective nouns. Number one, a dash of lions. So the spellings are all jumbled. So you have to write it correctly. Number one and two, I'll give you the answer. The rest, you have to do it on your own. A dash of lions. Answer will be pride. P-R-I-D-E. Pride. Number two, a dash of keys. The right and the right spelling will be bunch, b u n c h bunch. So the rest three, four, five, and six, you do it on your own.